Well, folks, the day has come. When I started a show where I talk about movies, I always knew it would only be a matter of time before I had to discuss... <sighs> Star Wars. <laughs> Now this show is usually all shits and giggles, so you're probably expecting me to stand here and say something like, my favorite thing about Rogue One was when I went to the bathroom to take a Rogue Two. <laughs> but the gravity of today's topic is something that we have to treat with a little more sobriety. Is it possible that the subtext of Rogue One is secretly pushing a pro-abortion agenda? Now this is gonna be a long, triggering conversation, and we're not gonna shy away from any of the more uncomfortable details. So I'm giving you all fair warning now, this discussion is going to be very... What? Goofball, what do you want? Oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. Hello? Yeah, hi. What do you want, goofball? I just wanted to see if you wanted me to pour you a bowl of Grandma Brownie's Chocolate Chunker Wonger Bunkers. Now with even bigger chunks of chocolate chunks. Yeah, I don't want any fucking cereal. Is that it? Okay, sheesh, you don't have to get angry. I just wanted to see if you wanted a delicious bowl of Grandma Brownie's Chocolate Chunker Wonker Bunkers. Now with even bigger chunks of chocolate chunks. No, I don't want any Grandma Brownie's Chocolate Chunker Wonker Bunkers now with even bigger chunks of chocolate chunks. Did you just say Grandma Brownie's Chocolate Chunker Wonker Bunkers? Now with even bigger chunks of chocolate chunks? <sighs> Okay, look, we all know that Grandma Brownie's Chocolate Chunker Wonker Bunkers is the delicious cereal sensation that's been bringing magic to the hearts of children and adults alike worldwide for the past 60 years. And sure, the chunks of real chocolate are bigger than ever. Oh, they're huge. Massive, massive chocolate chunks. But it doesn't matter, goofball, because we're not talking about Grandma Brownie's Chocolate Chunker Wonker Bunkers now with even bigger chunks of chocolate chunks. What we're supposed to be talking about is all the delicious marshmallow shapes found in every bunker box of Grandma Brownie's Chocolate Chunker Wonker Bunkers. Blue rainbows, turquoise crowns, green emeralds, yellow moons, golden clovers, red Indians, purple hearts. Wait, no, 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 no. We're not talking about marshmallows. We're talking about Star Wars. Stop trying to confuse me. Do you think it's true that Grandma Brownie puts the chunks of real chocolate in every box of Wonker Bunkers herself? <sighs> Yes, I do like to think that. Listen, goofball, are you listening? Try to listen. We all know that Grandma Brownie is a beloved cartoon icon who's been bringing magic to the hearts of children and adults alike worldwide for the past 50 years. 60 years. 60 years, thank you. And sure, the chunks of real chocolate are bigger than ever. Oh, they're massive. Leviathan, Leviathan chocolate chunks in every box. But we're not talking about the size of the chocolate chunks, goofball. You mean the real chocolate chunks in every box of Grandma Brownie's chocolate chunk- Don't say it! Why not? Because if you say Grandma Brownie's chocolate chunker wonker bunkers now with even bigger chunks of chocolate chunks, then I'm gonna say Grandma Brownie's chocolate chunker wonker bunkers now with even bigger chunks of chocolate chunks. And then you're gonna say, did you just say Grandma Brownie's chocolate chunker wonker bunkers? Did you just say Grandma Brownie's chocolate chunker wonker bunkers now with even bigger chunks of chocolate chunks? I sure did, goofball. And let me tell you, even though the real chunks of chocolate are bigger than ever, my favorite thing about Grandma Brownie's chocolate chunker wonker bunkers are all the delicious marshmallow shapes in every box. Red rubies, purple hearts, blue rainbows, turquoise crowns, green emeralds, yellow chinamans, golden clovers. No! We're not talking about marshmallow shapes. We're not talking about real chunks of chocolate. We're not talking about Grandma Brownie. We're talking about Star Wars. I don't want to hear another word about Grandma Brownie's chocolate chunker wonker bunkers now with even bigger chunks of chocolate chunks. No! I am going to deliver a scathing critical rant about Star Wars, and neither of you is gonna stop me! Okay, jeez! Man, what a jerk! I just wanted to offer you a bowl of cereal! You don't have to be rude about it! <clears throat> what is the deal with R2-D2? How come no matter what happens in Star Wars, R2-D2 is always there? Why does he keep following the main characters around? Get your own life, R2! What on earth was this robot even designed for? What is its function? It can't do anything. It just rolls around. Sometimes it sticks out a little robot dick to unlock doors, but if it can really unlock anything, why don't they just snap the dick off, put it in their pocket, and then throw the robot away? I guess it's also supposed to navigate Luke's X-Wing? 
but then why isn't the AI just built into the dash like a car radio? I really don't understand anything about this character or what it adds to Star Wars. Is it supposed to be cute? Cause it's not, it's a cylinder with a dot on it. Supposedly there's a little dude in there who controls it, but I don't know what he does. All it ever does is roll around. They could literally pull it on a, on a, pull it on a string. Huh. My scathing critical rant isn't quite as compelling as I thought it was when I wrote it. And it doesn't have anything to do with abortion, either. Guess I shouldn't have come up with the video title first. Well, shit. Goofball? Goofball, bring the cereal back. You rang, master? Give me the fucking cereal. Cereal? I don't have any cereal. Yes, you did. You had, uh, Grandma Chinky's wanker bankos. Grandma Chinky's wanker bankos? I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, that's just a bunch of nonsense. Goofball, you ruined my episode. Aw, oh, I'm sorry. If it'll make you feel better, I got some gossip. Yeah, all right, let's hear it. It looks like Burnbot has been fooling around with the microwave again. What? I thought I put an end to that. All right, all right, I'm not saying I am, but you gotta make him work for it first. For crying out loud, Burnbot, don't you have any self-respect? Okay, you know what? I think it's time we got a new microwave. And hopefully this time it'll be a microwave that knows how to keep his hands to himself! You are a strange, lonely, sad man. I'm actually, this was my brain dump of the week and I hope you hated it. Learn to fart, you renegade whore! Do you think Grandma Brownie really puts the chocolate chunks in the Wunker Bunkers herself? Don't be stupid. <laughs> <laughs>